Hello everyone and welcome! In this lesson we are going to introduce the notion of content projection. Before diving into content projection, let's make here a small change. As you can see we are accessing here the Courses 0 array. An alternative way of doing this is to use ngif to create an alias for this expression. So we can take for example this expression here. We paste it inside ngif and we can create an alternative name for the evaluation of this expression using the as syntax. So as you can see the courses zero expression is aliased here to course. So I can pass in this course variable here directly to the course property. Now let's give a quick example of what exactly is content projection. Content projection is all about making configurable components. So here if we jump into our course card component, we are going to see that the template of this component is fixed. We can show or hide certain parts of the template using ngif. We can alternate between multiple possibilities here in our course category property. But in general, the template of this component is fixed. But for example, it's possible that instead of displaying here an image, we would like to display something else that represents the course. Maybe we would like to display here some interactive element with some buttons. So we might want to display here other things other than a plain image. And right now this component does not offer the possibility of changing this image by something else. Ideally we would like to be able to provide the image as an input here to the component. Let's see how we can do that. We are going to start by extracting from this template the image tag. Let's just take the plain tag without anything else. We're going to switch over here to our application component. So right now if we would restart the application we would have nothing displayed here in place of the image. What we would like to do is to pass this image as a configuration element of the course card component. We would like to place the image somewhere here in the content part of the course card tag. So we have here the open course card tag, we have here the close tag, somewhere in the middle is the content part. This is configuration that we are passing to the course card element. In this case we are passing here a course image and we are already filling it in with the course.iconURL property which is coming here from our aliased variable. So now we are passing the image as configuration. The question now is how can the course card component grab a hold of this image and display it in its template? Well we can do that by using the ng-content tag from Angular Core. So with this tag we are going to be able to project the content that we have available here in the content part of the component. Let's see this in action. If we now reload the application we are going to see that we get again the same image here as expected. Now we understand the name for this feature, content projection, because what is happening here is that the content that we have here inside our course card tag is being effectively projected into the template using ng-content. And notice that if we add here some other content, such as for example, let's say an H5 tag saying the total number of lessons of this particular course, if we would refresh here our application, we are going to see that we now get here this content also projected into the course card component template. So any content that we have here between the opening and the closing tag of the course card component is going to get projected here in the template using ng-content. If we head over here and we add a second course card component, let's say that we add here a different course card that is going to access not the same course that we are accessing here, but we are going to access here a different course of our courses array, let's say the second course, and we don't provide any image, let's say that the total number of lessons is 10. If we now try this out, we are going to see that we have here two cards. The first card had the image and this total of lessons correctly projected here, but this second card, because we did not specify here an image, only had the total lessons projected. So ng-content by default is going to take anything that is in the content part of our component 
anything that is between the opening and the closing tag of the component and it's going to project it here inside the template. Now, in some situations, this might be exactly what we want. We want to project everything that we have here in the content part inside one particular slot in the template. But there are many other situations where we would only like to do a partial projection of the content that we have here. For example, probably here at the level of the image, we would only like to select here the image so that we project it here inside the card and we ignore everything else. So in order to do that, we can use the select property of the ng content tag. Here we can pass in a CSS selector that is going to restrain what gets projected. Let's say that we only want to project the image. So as you can see, now we are only projecting the image in this projection slot and not the total number of lessons of the course. Besides being able to project based on the element type, we can also restrict the content that we want to project using a CSS class. For example, let's add here a CSS class named course image. This is being applied here to an image, but it could potentially be applied to a container. Let's say that we had here a container div that would contain the image and the container would have the CSS class. So we would like to project the complete container that we have here into the image slot. We can do so by projecting based on the presence of the CSS class. So here in our select property, we are going to select based on this CSS class. And as we can see, our image is being correctly projected as expected. Notice that this time around, the total number of lessons was not projected. We only projected the image. This means that not only we can use element selectors and CSS selectors to specify the content that we want to associate to a given slot, but we can also apply this to container elements that contain multiple elements inside it. So if we move inside this course image container the total number of lessons, we are going to see that this is also getting projected as expected. NG content also supports multi-slot projection. Let's say that, for example, we would like to not only project here the content of the image, but we would also like to project here the content of the description. Let's see how can we do that. We are going to start by removing the description here from the template. This will no longer be a constant element. This is going to be a configurable element via content projection. We're going to start by adding here the course description to the content part of our course card. So notice that now we have here two top level elements at the level of the content part of this card. We have course image and a course description. If we try this out as it is, we are going to see that we no longer have here any description present. We can add it back to the template by projecting it based on the course description CSS class. So we are going to head over here to our course card template. We are going to add a second ng content tag. And here in the select property, we are going to specify the course description CSS class. And as we can see, now the description is being projected as expected. Now going back here to our application component, let's say that we would have here in the content part of this particular card, some extra content here that does not match either the course image CSS selector or the course description selector. Let's say that we have here some extra content, such as, for example, a text area that would allow us to edit the course description. If we now try this out, we are going to see that this part of the content is not getting projected to the card as we would expect. But let's say that we would like to add here another content projection slot that takes everything that does not match any of the existing selectors. So let's say that here in this ng content slot, we would like to project everything that does not match either the course image or the course description CSS selectors, which would correspond to this text area here. We can project this reminder content by simply applying here the ng content tag without any select property. So if we now try this out, we are going to see that now we have here the edit description field projected here in this last projection slot. Let's summarize everything that we have learned so far regarding content projection. 
Content Projection is all about making configurable components. We can customize the look and feel of a component via Content Projection by providing some content to the component that is then going to be projected and become a part of the component template. This can be done purely with the ng content tag at the level of the component template, but sometimes we also need a programmatic reference to the projected content at the level of our component class. Let's now learn how can we obtain references to our projected content using content child and content children. This is coming right up in the next lesson.